so we are in module 1 basic geometries the geometry which is uh, addressed in this video in this particular video is a quarter o grid a quarter o grid is nothing but a, a icem specific terminology for a, a wedge shaped block uh, or a pyramidal block uh, a quarter o grid is something which is used to capture the geometry of a triangular uh, uh, triangular uh, entity uh, this is what our geometry will look like this is as you can see it's uh, it's a uh, it's a wedge in three three dimensions the the angle here the the angle between the two sides here is 90 degree but the uh, the process of uh, creating a mesh will be same uh, as depicted in this video for any angled triangle for example uh, if even if it is a, a, a equilateral triangle the process of mesh creation the block generation the philosophy is same even if the edge is a curvilinear edge as opposed to a straight edge even if the edge is a curvilinear edge the same philosophy of blocking will be applicable as depicted in this video so let's let's uh, first uh, uh, philosophize what will the block blocking approach look like for this geometry so we will start with the uh, common strategy of initializing the block on the 3d bounded domain this this is the block initial block as you can see this does not fit the shape of the geometry at all the block is like square in 2d while the geometry is a triangle in 2d so to make the block fit the geometry we will uh, we will uh, execute the option of merge vertices so we will merge these two vertices this means this edge will collapse this edge will collapse and this edge will become coincident with this curve so this will make the block uh, take the shape of the geometry so uh, after that the the mesh which will generate may not be of good quality so we will introduce one more new option called convert to y block convert to y block that will make the uh, mesh of better quality so to reiterate we will initiate the block like this in the normal fashion then we will do merge vertices to make the block take the shape of the geometry and then we will improve the quality of the block at last by converting the block to a y block so this is how the geometry looks like in the gui uh, for uh, for ease of tutorial i have already created the surface parts there are three surface parts uh, i mean there are two surface parts one is the inlet which is the blue blue surface is the inlet as you can see this is the blue surface which is the inlet and the rest of the surfaces they have been clubbed together in a another in another part namely walls so walls and inlet are the two surface parts and the curves have been uh, have been clubbed together in their own part as usual and so have the points been also clubbed together in a different part so without much ado let's initialize our blocking the usual way we go here and in part called fluid it's not created once we initialize the block it will be created as already known to you and uh, we don't select any entities because we want our block to cover the whole geometry so we just press apply so dismiss so a block a block has already been created here we can see the the the, the default number of uh, nodes on each edge we can switch it off by going to edge and switching off the counts so this is the block looks like as you can see this block does not fit the geometry at all it's a square it's a square block in 2d or, or cube, cubical block in 3d uh, but in uh, but the geometry is a triangle or a wedge in 3d so to make the uh, block take the shape of the geometry we will uh, we will introduce the option of merge vertices please pay attention uh, blocking and merge vertices this is the icon for merge vertices you click here and you select the uh, option of two vertices now uh, it's very important uh, that the order of vertices should be correct 
the order of vertices is very important in the merge vertices option uh, uh, the vertex which which should remain should be select first, should be selected first while the vertex which which would be merged should be selected after the first vertex is selected so the first vertex should always be the one which you want to retain while the second or the third vertices if at all will be the vertices which you want to get rid of so here in this geometry we want to retain this vertex because this is this is uh, on the geometry itself while we want to get rid of this vertex we want this vertex to come here we want to get rid of this vertex so this will be sec selected secondly so first this vertex and this then secondly this vertex this is very important so you select this and then you select this and then you press apply no middle click here just press apply so this vertex is gone and it's merged with this vertex while this vertex has remained similarly you merge this vertex to this vertex so you select first this this vertex and then this vertex and you press apply and then say dismiss so we see very uh, clearly that the block now takes the shape of the geometry so if we can uh, switch off the surfaces and the curves and you see this is the block shape now which is very close to what the geometry looks like so uh, uh, we can do a pre-mesh right now we can uh, assign the nodes to the edges themselves so this is edge here and we assign say like eight nodes similarly we assign here like again eight nodes and we assign here again eight nodes so all the three uh, directional edges have been assigned nodes and then we do a pre-mesh so it looks like clean mesh does it the mesh looks good on this surface and this surface but the triangular surface on one of the corners the mesh has very poor angle the angle close to is close to zero here which is a cause of concern i mean you need not take my word for it what you can do is do a pre-quality histogram and run an angle criterion histogram so you can see clearly the they, there are some elements which have very poor angles in the in fact the minimum angle is only 2.19 that's pretty bad actually uh, to visualize which which are the elements which have such poor quality angles uh, i will switch to wireframe and then click on one of the histograms okay so as uh, as was suspected from visual inspection as well uh, these are the elements which have very poor angles so uh, icm provides a uh, uh, in-house tool, uh, a built-in tool to improve the quality of such mesh meshes in one shot itself. No splitting, nothing. In one shot itself, you can improve the quality of mesh. So that 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 tool is known as convert convert to Y block. So this is here. You go to blocking, and then you edit block, and then this convert block type set type as Y block. And you select the blocks there is only one block we have not done any splits so this is only one block you select that and then you say apply so you see the 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 block has been split into uh, three blocks on each edge there has been a split and uh, this is the new uh, blocking uh, topology uh, we will uh, assign uh, the the split has uh, removed the edge we assigned so we will redo the edge assignment the node assignment and we'll see whether the quality has improved So we have done the edge assignments in all the edges we have assigned the nodes. So uh, we can do a pre-mesh now. So if you see here, 
the mesh quality seems to have improved there are no sharp corners there are no uh, small angle elements we can do again a quality histogram select angle and say apply so you see the mesh has improved remarkably the minimum angle is now 36.9 and uh, there are no zero angle elements so i uh, we are happy with the quality